Hello friends, this video on light part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will try to understand the laws of reflection. Now we understood that okay, whenever light falls on the surface, it bounces back. That bouncing back is reflection. But how exactly reflection takes place? There are certain rules, there are certain laws which govern the phenomenon of reflection. So let us look at the laws. There are two important laws of reflection. First one says that the incident ray, reflected ray and normal. So all these three rays which we talked about just now, that is incident ray, reflected ray and normal, all of them lie on the same plane. So that is the first law of reflection. That means this three lines, one, two and three, they are going to lie in the same plane. What do we mean by a plane? Plane would be something like, let us say a sheet of paper. So if all the lines are lying on the same sheet of paper, we say that they are on the same plane. Wall is a plane. If all the three lines are lying on the wall, that means they are on the same plane because wall is one plane. But whenever you talk about something like a box, maybe a cuboid, so then it has got many planes. But each surface is one plane. So this is the first law. Second law says that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That is, this one is angle of incidence and this one is angle of reflection. So as per this angle, I is equal to angle R. So now these are going to be the most important concepts of reflection. Because based on this, we will be able to understand how reflection of light is taking place from different surfaces. And using that, we will be explaining a lot of stuffs. Like how is our image formed? How are we able to see different objects? We can explain all of them using these two simple laws of reflection. But before we do that, let's try to prove the laws of reflection. Why should you trust me that whatever I'm saying is right? So let us try to prove the laws. Let us try to see how can we verify them. So for that, what you can do, if you want, you can try it out yourself also. Uh, it will be easier if you have a laser light because with laser light, you can clearly see the incident ray and the reflected ray. And as I have already mentioned, the normal is an imaginary line which you will anyways not be able to see. So let us suppose this is one plane which could be a sheet of paper, which could be any, uh, it, it could be a glass surface, right? So if you take a glass surface or a mirror that there you can see reflection at its best. So you take a mirror and then you put this or and then focus light from the laser and you will see reflection taking place. So this is your incident ray and this is your reflected ray. Now what do you do? Just let us try to draw the normal to this surface of the mirror. Right? So this is normal. Now, using your protector or your compass, whichever you feel like, try to measure these angles. This is angle of incidence and this is angle of reflection. So, and make a note of both the values. So, you will. Now, let us try to do one thing. What do we do? Now, let us change the orientation of the incident ray. So, basically, we are trying to change the angle of incidence. Now, since you just change the way the light was falling from the laser. So what happens? Now your new angle of incidence is this. So let us call it as I dash. So the initially we found that angle I was equal to angle R. Now in this case again as soon as you spot the laser or the uh, surface you could easily see the reflected ray going out. So let me call that R dash. So here you will find again on measuring that I dash is equal to R dash. You further try to change the angle of incidence. It has decreased further. But at the same time, you will also see that the angle of reflection has also changed. So basically, this experiment proves that as you change the angle of incidence, the angle of reflection also changes. And in all the cases, angle of incidence remains equal to the angle of reflection. So this is how we have proved one law of reflection. What about the second one? 
that is all these three rays incident ray reflected ray and the normal they all lie on the same plane so for this i have made the arrangement a little different so that it becomes easier for you to understand the concept so let us suppose that this is the wall and on the wall you have mounted a mirror so this is the mirror right and now this is your laser so you have your laser somewhere here so from here the incident ray is coming and it is striking the mirror and from there it is getting reflected correct now what you have done is you take a sheet of paper below so i am just this is a top view i am seeing it from the top just imagine i am seeing it from the roof so this is how it looks like from above but basically this is how the rays are but you have kept a chart paper here so this is your chart paper or white sheet of paper anything should be fine now what you have to do is as you see the incident ray just draw a line on the chart paper similarly as you see the reflected ray exactly at the same position same orientation draw a line which represents the reflected ray and then you draw, draw a perpendicular line to the surface that is to the sheet of paper so what now once this is now once you have drawn everything just take this paper out so the paper would look somewhat like this the paper has the incident ray drawn it has the reflected ray drawn it also has a normal which is drawn right now just look at these three lines all these three they lie on the same sheet of paper which in itself proves that they are lying on the same plane but still if you want to experiment with this and you want to check whether they can lie in two different planes or not then what you can do is just cut this piece of paper from this portion such that one ray doesn't remain here so what do you see i mean anywhere in between these three rays you cut the paper and try to create two planes and you will see that you will not be able to see all of them on one plane which proves that only on one plane you will be able to see all these three rays that is they all lie on the same plane so if you try to change the plane you will not be able to see all of them so this simple experiment proves that all these three rays lie on the same plane and the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of the reflection now let us look at some examples which we see in our day to day life have you ever seen these kind of pictures now they are not only pictures these happen in reality in in case you you have gone to any of these places or places similar to this you would have seen these kind of effects so you have clouds in the sky but you see the same clouds image in the water so this happens due to reflection now will you be you see this only when light is present if there is complete darkness all around you will not be able to see the image right now what happens is cloud is not producing light light is produced by the sun but that light when falls on the cloud gets reflected by the cloud and because of that reflection this image is formed and the same is true for these trees as well so these are some common examples of reflection thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again